What is up, YouTube? It's Mr. Julius Mods, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new PC modding tutorials video. This video is going to be kind of just like an update on the previous video that I made. I want to say, let's see, roughly four or four or five years ago now. That's got over, I think, seventy some thousand views, if I'm not mistaken. Shockingly, that video did pretty good. That's my most viewed video on my channel to this day. This is going to be kind of just like a little short update bringing you guys pretty much the same tutorial that was made years ago but a lot of people still don't know how to do this or they might have trouble with it but that same method still works to this very day guys it still works the exact same way there's no ban risk you can do this whenever you want to as long as you want to you will never get banned um, and what that is is how to install and use a GSC mod menu on Black Ops 2 Zombies or multiplayer for the PC version uh, Steam this is not for the redacted, or I think it's what it's called. Um, I, personally, I don't play redacted servers. I just play regular Steam. Um, this game, at, at that moment, you can see this game's kind of dead. It's because I'm recording this damn near at midnight. So, uh, you know, the game's kind of dead right now. But this game's pretty live in the daytime. You probably see almost about five, 600 people online. But uh, we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing and using the Project Iconic V3 menu for zombies. Personally, this is my favorite my favorite mod menu for zombies. It's the most advanced. It has the best options, in my opinion, as well as features that allow you to uh, rank up your friends and random players as well. So we're going to be using that menu today. So to get things started, all you need for this video is to own Black Ops 2 for Steam or Redacted. And uh, you need to download the 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 files in the description which is GSC Studio, the GSC menu injector and then the folder that I'll have that will provide some working uh, menus for the Steam version of Black Ops 2. So once you download all of that stuff you want to just load up your Black Ops 2 to either Zombies or Multiplayer and before you pull up the injector to inject the menu you always want to, want to make sure that you're on the main screen of multiplayer or zombies and by the main screen I mean like the screen that shows you public map, solo play, customs make sure that you're on that screen because if you try to load up the game and you're just on this screen right here then once you inject the menu and then you try to go to online it'll just keep looping and looping and looping until it says that uh, the servers are not available at this time let's try it later which it, if that happens then you know that you injected it wrong so you want to reload the game and then make sure that, that you're on this screen so once you're on this screen though and you have the game loaded up you can just pr pretty much minimize the game or press the windows key I have this game broken down to 128720 for the purpose of making this video um, once you are on the screen you want to then make sure that you have GC Studio installed it's pretty self-explanatory on installing this you just double click on the EXE click yes 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 install and then it's going to install and then it's going to open this up on your screen once you see this Make sure you um, you pin this to your taskbar, just so you always have it, you know, quick access to it. And this is what it looks like if you haven't seen this before. This is called GSC Studio, as I said in the beginning of the video. This is what you use to inject the menus for multiplayer player and zombies. You can also also use this to code GSC menus, but that's going to be for like a later video that I'll show you guys how to do, which is GSC development, which I'm going to be making. A, a lot of modding t tutorials for PS3, 360, and PC soon, so just stay tuned for all those videos to come out. And I hope you guys show lots of support on those videos when I do release them. So what you want to do is you want to come to Connect. You want to go to PC and make sure you choose Steam if you're on Steam or if you're on Redacted, then choose Redacted. But as you can see for this video, I'm going to be on Steam, so we're going to click on Steam. It's going to say this. You want to just press OK, and you want to go to Editor. Once you go to Editor, the menus that I'm providing aren't GSER versions. They're actually compiled script file versions, so you're gonna go to inject a, a compiled script file, and you want to go to add GSC to inject, and then I have my mom to use inside the Black Ops 2 GSC Studio folder that's created once you install this program. So I'm just gonna open this up, and as you can see, I have Jiggy for for, for multiplayer, and then I have Project Iconic. So what you want to do is just click on that folder of the menu, and then click select folder, and then it should close down, and you should see a map is MP game types. If you see this on your screen, then you know you did it correctly, and you want to just click inject list, and it's gonna, it's gonna to, going to literally say injecting done. And once you see that pop up on your screen, you want to just minimize this program. You have to keep this program open at all times while you're on this game modding it, or the the game will crash, or, or the menu will crash. So just keep that in mind that you have to keep this 
program minimized at all times. And also, this program for PC, PC, if I'm not mistaken, does have a band bypass inside of it. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Just keep that open at all times and minimize. So, for the rest of this video, I'm going to just probably speed it up and show you guys proof of me using the menu and hopefully find a game online. So, thank you all for watching this quick tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Comment below if you have any questions about this or you need any help. I do have a Discord that you can feel free to join at any given time to receive help. As well as check out my website called Modern Revived. I'll leave that in the link description below. It's constantly getting updated with brand new things for all you guys to check out by my awesome developer, Reaper. And uh, with all that being said, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. It's been Mr. Julius Mods signing out. Oh,